Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome, welcome to another exciting, another one. It's another magical propaganda cast from your host, Imperial Dane. My apologies. This is not a Monday Norris fight. Sadly, there was a patch out, well, earlier yesterday, which has wiped my replay archives. I'd rather had to go with something different, a bit higher level. We shall be watching Cataclog going up here against Helping Hands on River Crossing here. Helping Hands fighting for the 18th Panzer Gunner Division, tasked with securing this river crossing as the Soviets are advancing hoping to exploit it and outflank a larger German force here fighting as the 225th mechanized brigade we are seeing a special rifle command going up first Strafniki on the way commanders are guard rifle parts and tactics and guard motor versus Hansi with elite troops fortified armor and Ost truppen back here though to Cataclaw so again my apologies as always you know if you see a patch come out and you're quick to get in the game and send replay best chance of getting in like some never said of yours, so there you go. Hopefully next Monday I'll have something for the Monday Novice fight, but today, this Monday, it shall not. Again, sincerest apologies. Gonna deal moving out, setting on his quarters out here, so far nothing unusual, points being secured. Cataclaw spreading out a bit here, Hans might also be spreading out, then again you could also look at his working on the west. Try to sort of stay at the edges so we can quickly move on, by the way, to the next point. Mr. Cataclaw. Second penal battalion on the way. Penal battalions were, by the way, slightly buffed. Apparently not performing quite satisfactorily with this late before the hotfix. So that is out. Shock troopers has also been buffed. And there's been some slight changes to Soviet sort of building costs for the tier 1. Special rifle command and support from company. They are now cheaper on manpower. Engagement of is pulling back into the house. Strafniki falling back into heavy car behind an old well. SB-42s versus car 98 ks Sengon is quarter arriving in, Stuff Nikki moving in from there. Pioneer securing the city, and we're actually seeing Hans here wiring off this area, wiring off the victory point as well. And there you go, Gunner's been caught by the Stuff Nikki, Stuff Nikki closing all already, taking a bit of damage here from the building, and there we go, more Gunner's moving, but at the same time, the Stuff Nikki here, overwhelming the Gunner's, quite catching him out of negative cover, down to half health already, pushing in though. Cataclaw here is smelling blood. And like a shark goes in after it, and there you go, the Gunner's getting pushed back here with heavy losses. MG42 is setting up. One looks like he might be able to get that one goes well up, but there are definitely some heavy losses. Only for one. Strafniki lost here for Cataclaw. That was definitely a favorable engagement for him right there. Although then encountering right here. What we do see is Scout Car following up here. We see both Pion Battalion retreating just as the other squad here gets flanked by Pioneer Squad. Caught a bit of cut there by the Pioneer of the 18th Panzer Gunner Division. And Pioneers were actually assault troops, so now they actually fit that bill on night previously. And there's all of this going on. Cataclaw securing the right hand side there. Second scout call on the way. Strafnigin enforced. Hans slowly but surely advancing. Troops enforcing. Third squad of Grenadier out here. For the Panzer Grenadier Division. You need a suicide squad? Panzer Grenadier Division's lots being motorized, rarely if ever actually having any half tracks. And any armor would usually have been relegated to Storm Geschut, so little fun fact there. Second scout cut, that looks like you're popping both stuff. Nikin might even be getting us a flamethrower. Fuel point there secured, hands advancing aggressively, but again also more focused, ensuring that flanks are covered and whatnot. But what could Cataclaw here be up to with his two M3A1s? Honey's going to get engaged, charging in. And opening up, burning away at the fascists. There you go, just lots of stuff. Nikki firing up there, 50 calibers, raking the fascist well enemy force opening up here. Pulling back here, but definitely getting off a few good shots. Then he's moving in, and right hand side slowly more and more falling into the hands of Cataclaw, or the claws of Cataclaw, if you will. Staying a bit cautious here with the scout cast, but overall forcing the pioneers spot back there with some light damage. Guard motors has, by the way, been chased nearby Cataclaw. Guard riflemen, heavy mortars, and other fun stuff will be available. Bit cautiously at Cataclaw, not mindlessly charging in, except perhaps realizing if Hans is over here, he might, you know, not be elsewhere, and then actually shift the scout cars towards that. Interesting enough, that's going to force Hans to either shift away or give up this terrain. So nice little strategic decision here by Cataclaw. Good thinking, good thinking. Comments in arriving. Second squad out, so adding a few more comments in there for Cat. Oh, he's going for the cutoff point as well there. Clever. Clever. Gonna do something, but at the same time they can't close in easily without taking damage from the 50 caliber and the SVT 40s. 
Very nice drop there. Very nice drop. Morgan is moving in, but at the same time, it's going to be rather difficult for Han to actually attack. Very clever thinking there. Good thing. Although we're just going to support flanking in there, sneaking in. Good thing in there. Our response from Han, but at the same time, Scout Car arrives, of course, with the more health it got from the latest patch. I mean, it won't go down from single Panzer Faust. Not easily, anyways. Stuff Nicky moving up there with the flamethrowers. Losing a few minutes. In fact, rapid fire from all these guns sort of can't cut through them. Not unsurprising, particularly since they're out there. Negative cover, which really is a bad position. But there we go. Commons wing is repaired. The other ones here. The scout cover with Stuff Nicky holding on here. In the scout car, they can to a larger extent ignore. Having to worry about being out in the open, I suppose. Hans oh, finally reconnects me. Stephanie under a lot of pressure. We're seeing the scout car on the way. Getting very close, waiting to call in some guard symphony, and that's clearly looking like that's what Caracol wants here for his mechanized brigade. And then we got another gunner down here to the combat units in the scout car. 50 caliber scout car falling back there. More gunners moving in. Hans definitely taking a lot of damage. And there we go. Again, a nice strategic shift right there from Canaclaw. As soon as he'd drawn Hans away from this position, he shifts one scout car there to immediately then begin harassing it. Good thinking there, sharp thinking. We do see a light to punch his paper here for helping Hans. The 2 2 1 might be able to get to a 2 2 2. Or might not. Oh, there we go. 2 2 2 up, 2 2 2 up. Two, two, two up. Guardsmen moving up, no DPs for them yet though. No, some more expensive now, but at the same time also notably more potent. Pioneer saying gaining the combat years on the right hand side, all really there, one loss goes down there, Friedrich did not make it. Comments from most of the guns, definitely also more lethal now after the patch. Oh, got the scout car, but at the same time, the other scout car, the armored car, could be a lot of trouble. Gasman could get one hit over there. Getting suppressed, but there we go! One volley from the anti tank drive takes it out. A heavy loss there to Hansi. At the same time, here, Skarka holding on well against the Ganesium. The Ganesium and heavy carved there with the 50 caliber and the Command Engineers. Dangerous situation there, Hansi. There we go. One man down. Four three. Well, there's nothing actually lost one. I'll be four three. And here getting overwhelmed by Shravniki. And Gasman here, a bit clammed up. But there we go. One excellent rifle grenade takes out most of the unit. No quite kills there. Shravniki holding up in heavy carver. Kalin isn't only. Well, no come in fact. Pino Tube says should have the advantage then. If all goes well, then again. There we go. Helmut went down. Falls to fall back there. Cataclaw keeping up excellent pressure. Heavy Mortar now arriving as well. Pino Tube here falling a bit back. Making good use, by the way, there of Hans's wrecked scout car. Second scout here arriving, stuff Nicky moving straight into it, they're actually getting caught out in the open, they might be able to slaughter right there, force to fall back, heavy losses, no actually not quite yet, bit lucky there then, oh heavy mortar actually gets a kill there, that's impressive, engineers also getting caught here, a bit of a botch assault there from Calico, could give Hans a chance of getting back in the fight, Tommy is here could also consider laying down some mines here around to sort of make things more difficult for Hans and for Panzer Grenadier Divisionen. As for those wondering on my thoughts about the whole Western Front Army's announcement, I mean, I've got something up on my Facebook page for the propaganda cast. Otherwise, I will be trying to pull out a video here next week, hopefully, to sort of, you know, analyze the announcement trailer, but hopefully I'll also put out my thoughts myself there. So, look forward to that. What do you all goes well. Hey, Mortar once more advancing. Gasping inside the scout car here with DPs and other goodies. Presenting a very mobile and hard-hitting force for Cataclysm. We actually see Hans's response is going to get a bit more heavy with the Panzer and the Kanone 40 moving up. And the hiccup. Moving up there. Deep East and 50 Cam. Just note the gun is just really taking a lot of damage here. They're quickly dropping in health. Although if we need military, we can actually drive up here and actually flank it. At the same time, Hans here. Got, oh dear. Now he could lose them. And there we go. Good move there. Overdriving, he wants to wipe it, he wants to wipe it, he likely will put it off. Oh, no, the scout can the pioneers actually take up targets here. Sadly, it can actually designate targets for units inside a vehicle. Instead, the scout can the pioneers draw the fire. Nice move there, if that was actually intentionally by Hans. Allowing that one veteran gun in this wall there to pull out there with some losses. Uh, with some cat 
Live people. A mortifying way. Scarf Nigido getting shredded by Gunnadiers and MD Fire. Scarf can repair. Pack 40 setting up. Nice if there's more Gunnadiers here. Scarf Colter rushing out. Perhaps Catacol realizing it's not going to do much here. A mortar bombards way there. Nice engagement as Heinz is caught on the other side of the river. MD 42 almost right now. Here's a mortar stepping already again to slowly pay itself off. And we're seeing here that Hans is going to retaliate with his own Granatenwerfer. Engineer standing by. Popping over here to helping, helping Hans. Three Grenadier squads. One Pioneer squad, MG42, Mortar and other fun stuff. Cervantes Scout can actually lead the way. A bit bold there by Hans, I think. I think though Catacol should have had his more heavy mortar here. It would have been, you know, still close to the enemy front line, but at the same time, less easy to be shot at directly. Oh, nice hit. Almost wiping out Gunnadier Squad again there for Hans. I mean, Hans is really bleeding out here. Also finally shifting out some forces here, though again, Scout Cut could easily react to that and sort of cut it down. Tank Reaper Tank Command giving up the Catacol. Penal troops advancing here under heavy fire. Partly from their own as well, I think. There we go, Granat in there for Lance, one very successful shot there for Deutschland. But at the same time, we are seeing that Hans is being forced to pull back here from the Western Front, or Western Flank, as Cataclaw makes a sturdy advance, and there's nothing to really shield the units here. All the infantry is either being reinforced or elsewhere on the map. Bankrupt, definitely looking like he needs it. Rather close with that heavy mortar. No commander yet for helping Hans, and there we go again, another strike here, cutting down harassing units. Good shift there, I mean, uh, Cataclaw probably is, at this stage it's not going to do much against the main force on the other hand. It's going to be east, well done to sort of clear out any harassing units. And there we go, a tragic loss there for the Pentagon of the Sean. A Pioneer squad went down in flames. Hans has not upgraded, but they're still doing a bit of damage here, Passing Gun Bunker and the 2-2-1 MG there. And there we go, Scout Car went down, but at the same time, in considering the damage it all was able to do and help with, I think it has all served its purpose quite well. Guardsman slowly advancing. Taking fire. Hans is definitely getting further and further pressure. Guardsman oh, stuff, moving in, almost getting a mortar crewman. And he's doing some damage. Now there's the MD42, MD42 gun is actually forced back. And the heavy machine gun setting up to cover the main road. Again, just Catacol keeps up the pressure, making that difficult sort of Hans to hold down any positions. Troops there healing up. Another Pioneer squad, still no sign of a commander here for Hans. At this stage, one will attempt to actually go Ostrom, just get some Ostrom to help hold positions. I mean, they are tougher than the Gunners, can actually help Hans absorb some of the damage going in there. And there we go. T3476 arriving here for Catacol, rapidly advancing. The guard squad taking up positions in an old wrecked farmhouse. And there we go, heavy mortar rounds continue to be locked at the enemy. And there we go, he's actually gone for us. No, he's trading fuel for munitions. Interesting. Interesting. Strafniki there, now with the veteran to actually all right to sort of shift to cover. Well used of it there, well used. Forcing Hans further on the defensive. Penal troops continue to advance here across the central road as well. Going a bit of the few points, hope to take something back, but there we go. T-34 reacts rapidly and mercilessly. With a few Strafniki here being caught. Oh, just getting straight here by the MD-42. But heavy mortar rounds in the inmile extinguished the lives of Jürgen. Back forward, quick turning up there, opening up the T-34. Could be seeing a Panzer Faust here, follow up with a Pack 40 hit. That could actually prove to be quite devastating there for Catacop. Panzer Faust, a bay. But looks like T-34 man to escape nonetheless, pulls up here behind the cops of cheese. Avoiding the wrath of the Wehrmacht, although we do see some Panzer guys here with the Pantrex arriving, like the also what he expended out in fuel on to get munitions for. Heavy mortar in a bit of desperate situation, looks like once Catacloss and more aggressively pushed back. 
So now here might be a chance for Hans to get back in the fight. But can he pull it off? Also, a chance for an officer could prove helpful, or just some Ostrom to absorb some damage. Although, at the same time, I do have to wonder if they perhaps might not need some further changes a bit. A 200 man I don't think they're quite worth it. Taking fire! Scout right here, Pack 40 setting up. There we go, nice hit done. Scout cut armor taking up. Dead 22. Oh no, being blocked by the Pack 40. Ah, traffic congestion of the worst Ready kind when you're under fire. Hanakthor monopolizing the fuel points quite well, but there we go. T-34 trying to repair by the fuel point. Two engines brought in by Calicorn, by the Good move there. A pack 40 here, takes off a nice hit, and there we go, the T-34 spawn. Although the Panzerist took heavy losses in response to the Guardsmen almost getting them. Catching the heavy mortar there, Hans makes a nice counter push here towards the right hand side. Guardsmen moving up through the negative cover of the river. Two Grenadiers walks on with like two guns, one dead from the Grenades going off there. Ow! Almost getting the Grenadiers fall. Catacord just keeping it up here like a beast. And T-34 looks like it finally gave up, crashing into a small warehouse. Sending on people to the idea, and there we go. Stuff Niki moving in there, catching the mortar off guard. So much going on at the moment. Hunt is definitely in a bit of trouble here. Might want to add into another Panzer squad. Or the officer, or the Ostrom. He does need some more to push in, I think. Or take out. Another Grenadier squad rushed off the field. Small arms fire! Yes, Scout coasting repairs, not great for that one. We have a full squad! Standing by! Yes? Grenadiers! You need some reconnaissance? And they're going on the nice wood route from the penal battalion closing in there on the Grenadiers. This is ours! It's done. Flame throws up there. Strafnik being forced away. He is attempting to steal our sector. Punch with Shrek's away. And taking up there for Hansi. Should have him a bit, but again, very much in the back foot here. And now we're seeing T 84 85s arriving here for Cataclot and the mechanized brigade pushing forwards. Mines going up. Cataclot now really sort of preparing for Hansi's inevitable counter attack. It's definitely going to be tricky with those heavy tech or medium techs here. Telemines are terribly heavy stop light down, but doesn't quite succeed. Hey, mortar round with getting the Panzer gun. It is. Hey, for shifting, shifting. Yes? The pressure is definitely rather heavy. <coughs> heavy mortar rounds continue to impact here, keeping the pressure up. Or to make it harder for Hans to sort of shift around here. I mean, it's really a vital junction in that department. Unless Hans wants to sort of shift everything over towards here and then straight into a minefield. We are down to 200 points. But seems like Hans is more focused on this part. By the same time, there are some <laughs> junctions here that are rather exposed as well to counterattack here from Cataclor. Garden actually leading the way here. <coughs> Oh, they're taking us here, their pioneers probably could stand to close in then get off some MP40 shots here. Counterhack from the T-3045, fourth goes away. While we're having mortar firing here. Oh, the Garsman actually close to it, close to it, close to it. Maybe the mortar could hit there. Oh, there we go, excellent hit there from the Garsman in the air for kills most of the Garsman leaves behind the DP. That should definitely give Hans a bit of breathing room in particular to pick up the DP. But that heavy mortar continues to be an utter menace there. Germany now holds the victory point. Second Panzer at Canona arriving for Hans. So this definitely has a large amount of anti-tank fire now available. Panzer there connecting with the T-3045, at least one does. Lots of pressures continuing here. T-3045 is bombarding. Gasman or oh, Gunnery is just killing the DP. Giving them a bit more firepower. <coughs> oh, counter fire there on the German mortar clears it out. Almost getting the Panzers as well. Oh, just unfortunate there. Guards or oh, Penal to make a push there. Ooh, Raring as well. 
but caught by two machine guns. This is not working out well. Team Pentagon reacts rapidly. I think the Pack 40 could have been close a bit to the front line to provide support. At the same time, Team 35 are pushing away. Veteran 2 for the Pack 40. Definitely a small boon there for Hans. Not sure why Rush that stuff making there as well. Knew there was an MD42 ready to make a mess out of anyone getting a bit too close. Another Panzer squad on the way. Scout seems to have been falling into a bit of a collecting dust roll since he's not really doing much anymore. T-35 out with the side exposed to the pack 40 is only making things easier for Hans here. Taking a few well deserved shots. Panzer Grenadiers. Ready. Troops hanging about there in Hunter's base, need reinforcement. Grenadiers need to get out of there, and we're seeing yet a second heavy mortar arriving for Cataclaw. Cataclaw setting up a pretty nasty mortar battery then. Oh! Good work, man. Got him, Himmel! That was an excellent rifle grenade right there, and just, oh, a nasty blow there to Cataclaw, losing most of his penal troops right there. Veteran ones too. That's it! Fully reinforced! Hans saw an opportunity and he took it. We'll play it there. Pulling back here to Cataclaw. Also time for the mid-game analysis. The current situation is definitely not looking too good for Hans and the 18th Panzer are going to be shown. They are very much in the back foot. Hans is sort of struggling to keep up Cataclaw basically with a smaller force. Keep constantly attacking, constantly harassing, adding artillery to sort of make it harder for Hans to advance or sort of establish any sign of Assault force that can push through. Also now with the two tanks, he's definitely making things a lot more difficult even then. I mean, Cataclaw or Hans needs to sort of protect flanks properly and he needs to get some fuel, I suppose, sort of try and get some armor. So there's a lot of pressure currently on Hans. A lot of attrition going on against Hans. I mean, Hans does have a la larger infantry force at the moment, but at the same time, he's not quite having any luck sort of really getting the most out of it. In particular, now with two heavy mortars, that's going to be rather tricky for Hans to sort of push through, although again the Cataclone now beginning to bleed out there, there might be a chance there, but Hans does need to make a breakthrough somehow, nonetheless, having a pack push it all up, push forwards with the infantry and basically, you know, get somewhere otherwise, I mean, he's going to lose very soon because in victory point terms, I mean, Hans is definitely behind there. In terms of kills, are actually extremely equal, and also in terms of damage, I mean, the overall doing reasonably well, but still Cataclone, you know, holding most of the map, but still also laying down sufficient damage to keep Hans a bit contained here. There's definitely a lot of nasty work going on in this fight. A lot of it. So this is definitely going to get a bit dangerous, but then again that could easily go for both ways. But France needs to sort of consider taking up, perhaps getting a Stuga or something to sort of really help those T-3045s, so they're definitely making things difficult for him. But he should also aim for somehow taking up these heavy mortars. I mean, considering the command is gone, we're not really seeing much of it though from Hans. I think, you know, he should try considering getting an officer, some Ostrom or something, maybe a few trenches here and there, so then sort of, you know, having something to also make it a bit harder for Cataclaw to sort of bash his way through. For Cataclaw, a bit more replacement, which currently is going to be what he needs. He's been a bit lacking there. Another guard squad, another penal troop could maybe help out, or just some conscripts sort of merge with the others. More armor, and that's likely what he's aiming at. Although he could consider half tech sort of reinforce the front line, get the AA mount of it, and just begin really eating through Hans's infantry. That would definitely also be a viable strategic decision right there by Cataclaw. A very viable strategic decision. Otherwise, you know, more mines make it harder for Hans to push out from his already, well, bit pushed back position there. Let's return to the fight. Taking fire. Looks like Hans made an effort there to do their mortar. Oh no! A fresh Panzer gun squad just trained by Hans just got wiped out there by the heavy mortar. That's just terrible. The enemy has 100 points remaining. Terrible, I say. You got the M4 here, you got the pack by the same time. Oh, the conscripts just managed to get beyond the arc of fire there. Scar casting when it can it. And there we go, pack forcing his stuff sneaky away. Guardsman, veteran, you feel missing another penal battalion here on the way. And there we go, quick fragmentation grenade against the grenadiers, and there we go, quick retreat in the same time. 
Dark penalty is for the DPS. And there we go. Rival grenade doesn't quite do much except kill for Vasily. And then go to the front line support here. The does need to fall back soon. Heavy mortar continue to rain down. Can to fall back? Fighting continues over here. T-35 needs to be careful. Back forward here. Targeting. Ow! Last of the Panzer can score here. Ow! Hansi! Hansi! Do not underestimate the might of the T-3045 and I'm surprised there is no target weak point here for the pack 40 that could probably have done the trick. You appear suited for command. Attack with the enemy infantry. Heavy mortar rounds falling down there. Pack 40 between two definitely one of Hans's great assets at the moment. More heavy mortar fire. More heavy mortar fire. They are not real soldiers. Scout Kai Vances supporting here. Oh, satchel charge. Clever. Certainly forces Hans to veer off, giving the penal troops a bit more time to sort of set up. And there go. The gun is up close, even with the LMG. Simply can't get it off enough fire. And there go. Are forced away. But ultimately, they are forced away with the larger gun. They are still pushing in with all kinds of light machine guns that are secured from different sources. And not sources. Pack 40 here, close to being all whelmed. Scott come up, we're able to save the day, but at the same time, it will be a bit open the open. There we go, Hans is finally making a bit of a concerted push despite the efforts here of the heavy mortar of extinguishing the lives of his men. Van Arte and Nevi are firing his support. Towards enforcing. And of course, fun fact is, the Germans actually also used the 120 mortar to they straight out copied it from the Russians. Pack 40 of firing, grenades going down, gun is easy to fall back to wood fun! Can't go forward, can't go back. And there you go, Strachny falls away, Hans making progress, but it's very slow, it's very precious, it's very bloody. Oh, and he lost his Pack 40 crew. An absolute shame here. The grenades are definitely holding the line here with 15 kills. Oh! Bloody hell! Almost wiped out there by the grenades. Although, of course, the gunners have their own worries here with the mortar crews. Rival grenade, oh, forced away one mortar crew. A small victory there for the fatherland. Hans down to 22 victory points. This is not looking good. The 18th Panzer Division has rather been ex bloodied in many ways, but still holding on here, despite losing entire Panzer Grenadier squads in the blink of an eye. And basically only the stalwart grenadiers are holding the line. With an awful lot of light machine guns, admittedly. But without that he would have been swept away like a sand castle before the tide. What do you need? In this case the red tide. Yes, comrade. You need light yes. and T-Force is in repairs. Close to one with that one, this one not having much either to do. <coughs> Telemines up here to sort of stop any advances. Good, good. He's got fuel now to take up. I would suggest either Panzer IV or a Stug. S-Mine's going down as well by the looks of it. Good idea there to sort of make it harder for Cataclaw to advance his infantry. Hans finally having some breathing time. He's definitely doing his most with it. Trying to sort of make it harder for Cataclaw to launch another massive and insane assault. In the name of Comrade Stalin and the Soviet peoples. Capturing supply sector. Of course, at the same time, Hans is slightly risking out sending his troops at the moment. Oh dear. We have a new T Massive Soviet armored assault inbound. Four T 3045s, and Hans only has two packs at the moment. In a bunch of telemines. Well, he's got one pack, which is crude. The other one is not. Oh, he's got another fresh pencil of squad here with the Panzer Strex. Enjoying the view by the river. The smell of. Cordite, smoke, and blood, and brackish water. I have the men ready. What do you need? Oh, cancel there to tell mine. That's unfortunate there for Hans. That was munitions up the drain. And there we go. We're just seeing a massive assault going in there. He's really going in all for it. Advance of the Soviet army, comrades.
4, T-3045, sweeping forwards. Opening up there in the face of Helping Hans. Back 45 there, Pantrax also connecting. One T-3045 down to half health, having received quite a bit of damage there. And we're actually seeing in this case, Catacloc quickly retreats. More pack forwards moving up. Comet is being shredded by Grenadiers. Scout kept behind cover at the same time, engaging in Strafnigia moving. Venture T versus the Guardsman. Oh, Grenadiers, flame first and all sorts of things. Strafnigia falls to eight. T-34 falls back. And, well, he's actually pushing again. He's, is he pushing again? What is he, what is he doing, Cataclaw? You're still leading with a tank that's heavily damaged. Heavy mortars going in on the German position. We've seen pack 40s. Oh, he's actually doing it. He's spearheading, though, with a heavily damaged tank. Panzer X might get it, there we go! Went down, Venture 2 back 40, got it! More Panzer X, more fire! This pack, kind of is they take a bit out in the open. And there we go, this pack could be stretched for 2 feet, that would be terrible! Panzer X needs to keep firing. Panzer fast in T-55 middle the bridge, and there we go, Venture 2 feet, T-45 down! This is an absolute slaughter! A tank killing zone! Good lord! The charge of the not quite so light brigade! Orchestrated by Cataclaw. Three T 35s in hand. I mean, Hans are definitely set up those pack 40 nicely, though. The Panzer definitely helped, but still, at the same time, I have to wonder why did Cataclaw charge in like that? He must have known what was waiting for him. But now, a Death Trick pack 40. And that's definitely going to make things rather uncomfortable for any armor Cataclaw might have. Satchel charge here, holding back the German infantry. Mortar rounds continue to raid down like high explosive raindrops. Guard squad ready. Both penal uh, guard squad and penal squad are better than three. They're desperately holding up, but they are not in a fighting condition. And Hans ordering the Schwer Gustav to lay down a covering fire on the victory point. One can certainly feel the special near Pioneers should just add in. With the MP40s, there we go. Satchel charge on the scout car. Pioneers wiped out! Looks like the Srafniki will get away though with their dirty deeds. Oh, I was just way there. The scout car would have been wiped out by the elephant. Oh, well, there it goes. Stop at the center. The guys we might get it. Veterans in three though. Impressive, impressive. Right hand side then being well was secured, but apparently went down to something. Not sure what. Oh, and he lost the veteran to the pack 40 crew. Ah, chase. <laughs> down to one T34 to hit five here for Cataclaw, his heavy mort here. Veterans the 31 guilds. That's definitely paid it off. off. And back here to helping hands. Struggling to keep up. Struggling. Still no sign of Ostroppen or the officer. Oh, he lost the Panzer Gunners and the almost all Gunners. Oh no! Oh, go oh, good lord! Just a massacre right here. Heavy losses to the 18 Panzer. Those heavy mortars are just pure evil. And have definitely picked themselves off here for Cataclaw. Hans might lose another motor crew here. Nope. Looks like they escaped safely. Hans is desperately fighting to keep some mixture points under his control. A bunker here might be an idea, to be honest. More gun this, more panzer gun this here. We have our reinforcement enemy forces are securing our territory. Rifle grenades going off, pioneers here fighting. But our over part here, but they Shafniki another attempt here to push for the right hand victory point. He could go for Nintendo, he's going for no pullback there, cards from us. Shafniki flanking in, but there's another scout car taking out again, more panzer traps, or another railway artillery support strike. Yeah. We 
Esmont, well, they're ensuring that Catacloc can't easily flank from this side, being behind only pretty much this small strip of land. So actually, a nice position here with the MP42 by helping Hans. Cataclon crying by no tanks. And there go Railway Artillery hoping to catch Cataclon off guard for a moment. No time to say. Oh! Good lord! What an absolute hit there! Got him, Himmel! And that just really gutted Cataclon right there. It should give Hans some more breathing space, to be honest. Getting another pack 40. Let's not recruit that one. Oh, my Jesus, I'm double get this. Still lost one pack with pack. Now got pack 40, ready, T-55 advances. Oh, Cataclaw. And there we go. One pack 40 hit. Cooks it up like a goose filled with explosives. Down to 10 victory points. Can Hans hold out here? Can Hans hold out? Stefaniki continue to push in. Victory point secured. Railway artillery at the ready. Heavy mortars moving up once more to deliver a fresh volley of death. A fresh gas before they arrives. Fails to make an impression. Oh dear, another railway artillery straight on the victory point again. Other guards moving up there, gunner is moving up. Guardsman, he actually takes quite a bit of damage, a bit of a first position there. And there goes Sneak up the Guardsman, check at the edge. Close to getting wiped out there, close. And the third shot from the Shreya Gustav. Oh, the red kit taking all the Guardsmen to a violent, bloody grave. Oh, well, graves. Back 40 at OM, Scout Cup rushes in once more, 15 kills. Satchel Chow to wipe out the fascist pack 40. So much high explosives in this battlefield. Point is slowly taking down here for Cataclaus. Well, hands desperately holding on, fighting like a man possessed. Well, commanding his men like a man possessed, as opposed to be more accurate. More Panzer Canadians on the way, more. Troops being sent to the front line. Standing by. For the glory of Deutschland. Nego yeah. Gunsport flanking. Hope to get off right grenade. Can they get it? Can they get it? No, nope, doesn't look like it. Combat here with a Panzer Shrek. Purloined from the cops for dead Panzer Grenadier. No armor left here for Cataclysm at the moment. Whoops, actually should not have turned the resource off. Though he's going to get another pair soon. And there we go. This is now German territory. Quite a few T-34s have arrived for Calaclaw on this bloody battlefield, be sure. Another exchange there of fuel for munitions. Another pair of Panzer Six. The Lee is being bombarded. 38 kills in that heavy mortar, 38 kills. Absolute madness. Grenadiers reporting. What are German mortars thinking forward to it, and he's trying to get that center victory point. T-35 fires, trying to ensure they don't get it. They go pack 40 going away. From what remains of this side of the river bank. Nice hit there. Can you get that T-35? Oh, looks like he retreats right there. And again, another push here, hitting the S minefield even. Still no sign of it in the arm pink for having hands though. More heavy mortar rounds unleashed. How can we help? This is definitely interesting. Hans is actually meant to take both victory, or at least the first victory push to stop the bleeding. And he know he's actually now causing Cataclock cut a few losses here. Yes. Ready for it. Can Cataclysm somehow get back after this? Can he claw his way back? Pack 40 was well wiped out. 43 and 10 kills on the heavy mortars. Garsman trying to pull off a successful river crossing, but not quite fully. And the Panzer looks like he's very intent on getting that heavy mortar crew, having had enough of the Bolshevik bastards. 
Looks like close, close, but there we go. Stuff need to arriving. Need to fall back. Ah. That quality opening up. Mega Panzerfaust. Watch out! And another strike from the Sverda Gustav. There we go. There we go. Yeah. Maybe you should be ready to cover here as well. Better angle now, by the way. And there we go. <laughs> oh no, Heinz! Why did you wait to reload until the last bloody minute? No, but Heinz, he does get out of the angle of fire. Oh dear! Satchel charge on the MG42. And there we go. Wipes out, helping Heinz's MG42. A bit of a close call there, but he managed to pull it off. Finally, we're seeing a Supermacore core going up here, filming hands, and the 18th Panzer going to be us. Back 40, Panzer. And there we go, the Telemine went off! Clearing out the last T-3045. Shravniki there running through the. Well, no, stay to this one, so that was not the last one. Either way, it went down. Nice Telemine there. Getting the extra points again. And slowly but surely beginning to push back here. Caraclaw can Caraclaw master for a first counter attack. Mortar running to land down, gasping getting shredded. Looks like Hans's own mortar though has been wiped out. Still only 10 victory points, got him repaired. 17 kills. Hans has really done well with it. T-35 are getting off a nice shot now. Can they get off a rifle grenade or something? Does not look like it. There you go, the scout guys on the job. Cutting off Cataclaw from his only fuel point remaining. Nice from there, Grenadiers firing away with abandoned and light machine guns. Shredding through the gas from right here. Getting it all in, then he's pulled back, he's pulled back. Heavy Mortar continues to fire. 46 kills on that thing. Back to Cataclaw. Who's certainly not looking too good. He's better getting loose. He's actually getting a T-70 now. He's actually getting some light armor all of a sudden. Still low in infantry again. Down to less than 200 points. Hans holding up here like a lion. Of some kind. Troops are enforcing, heavy mortars there, 14 and 46, that's 60 kills together on both mortars. Hans could perhaps consider setting up some trenches or something to slightly expose his troops less to the elements of Soviet rage. More termites going up, he's definitely digging ding here hard, a machine gun bang again would prove perhaps a bit helpful. Looks like it's finally some armies on the way. Could it be a Panzer IV? Could it be a Stug? Could it be a Flak Panzer? More Panzer Panzer T-34 taking a bit of a few hands to hit it. T-7 straight to the face. And it's a Stormgeschutz. T-34-5 barely escapes the wrath of the Wehrmacht. And the Stug here turns around. Gets off a nice hit in the T-70. Panzer again is also moving up, and there we go. One more hit, one more hit, and that's good now for the T-70. Can Hans finish it off? Can Hans do it? There we go, T-70 kaput. Guards near the fighting to hold that right hand side victory point. Got the other one, could this be it? Could this be it for Caraclock? Grenade, there they're advancing Panzer gun it is. Keeping them out in the open there, tearing through them with the DPs. These Panzers need to fall back there. Getting last victory points. Well, this could be game over. This could be GG. Stuart moving forward. Infinity moving up. Heavy mortar. Everything is caught in the center. Stuart just barging his way through. Satchel charge. And he's getting caught in it. Oh, no. Six points. Rifle grenades. Scout cover rolling forwards. 
Still just advancing straight for everything. Nice hit there from the T-35. Pantrick as well. And there we go. Game over. Absolutely brutal. Fight here between the two players. Saw a lot of faction here right in the centre. But also right flat side. Lots of flanking. Great start there from Caraclaw. Really nice. Mobile. Aggressive. Opening sort of really harassing hands. Keeping up things and then sort of others. Keeping up pressure. And those hay mortars definitely paid themselves off us as well. Although I do think this game could have been a bit faster had Caraclaw perhaps not made that one disastrous charge straight in between two packed folders and the Panzer Tracks. I'm not entirely sure what possessed them right there, but that was definitely unfortunate. Definitely gave Hans a chance to come back, but Sandy was not quite able to exploit it. The armor was too slow, and I also don't think he just made good enough use of his command again. And question is, should he not have gone for another one? He basically just went for this ability. No Ostrom, no officer boost his troops, and well, basically this, no trenches eyes. I do feel Hans could have done a bit better there as well. So, I mean, some problems there, but ultimately nicely played by both, but the end, just better played by Cataclaw. So, hope you enjoyed this match, hope you had some fun. If you did, want to subscribe, tell your friends, share with everyone. If not, send in a replay and provide some feedback in the comments. This is Imperial Dane saying cheers.